Welcome to this overview of the new Interactive Terrain Shaping Labs utility. Let me begin with a quick introduction of the new tool. First of all, once installed, you should be able to see a new ribbon tab with different options for creating terrain shapes. Before you begin, please make sure to follow the setup instructions for optimum graphics performance. We begin with identifying the site boundary and an existing ground that needs to be modified. Let us create a work canvas that we will use to shape the terrain. This work canvas mirrors the existing ground and will get modified as we add operations to it. On clicking the canvas, I can use the options in Contextual tab to edit the display, analyze or export the model. For example, if I am not satisfied with the quality of the model, I can decrease the grid spacing to refine the model at the expense of time to update. The default grid spacing is 3 units. I can also switch to the solid view to get a more accurate representation of the model. This allows me to transition a conceptual design to the detailed design state. Solid model is a bit slow for some grading shapes, but we have included this ability in the preview because we want to emphasize the underlying goal of this project which is to provide a holistic approach to terrain shaping that allows users to go from concept to completion using the same model. The intent is to get quick, robust answers for early decision making that can later be refined into more accurate solutions for production drawings. This model can also be uh, exported to AutoCAD 3D Solid and there are additional options for creating details like sidewalks, curbs and retaining walls that will not show up when the model is displayed in the conceptual mode. Now let us convert the model back into grid view and take a look at the ribbon tab in more detail. Commands for shape creation are arranged in six different panels. The first three panels, Terrain Shapes, Add Fill and Remove Earth work directly with the finished ground. In other words, these operations modify the finished ground directly. The other three panels, Create Working Element, Modify Element and Paste Element allow creation of building blocks that can be combined and assembled into versatile shapes representing pre-implemented pieces of design called working elements. These working elements can later be integrated into the finished terrain. Let me explain this in a bit more detail. Let us look at the first panel that contains options for creating enhanced terrain shapes. These operations create real-world objects by applying a collective sequence of operations behind the scene. The intent is to hide the layers of unnecessary software steps between your ideas and the digital model. These commands should serve as a starting point to the new users and hence we recommend getting some hands-on experience with them before working with the building blocks. The introductory tutorial videos demonstrate how to use these commands. What are building blocks? Building blocks are primitive elements like planes and slopes which can be combined into more complex shapes. These commands are targeted at advanced users. The advanced tutorial videos demonstrate how to use these building blocks to create interesting custom terrain shapes. Let me explain why we are exposing these building blocks to the user with the help of an example. In this drawing, I have added a parking lot, an organic swale and a pond using the standard commands. Before I proceed, let me inform you that we are introducing design by flow grade in this approach. The flow grade is measured along the gradient of the surface and allows the specification of maximum allowable grade which may be dictated by soil quality, design standards and ADA guidelines. Additionally, we are introducing organic shapes that are visually more pleasing. For example, this swale has a rounded shape to it that mirrors natural landforms. Coming back to the subject of real-world objects versus building blocks, in this example, I was able to create all these features using standard operations. Now let's say I want to add a traffic island, a floor plane, a flat plane, or a building. I do not have enough standard commands to help me with those operations. This is where building blocks can help. 
Let me open a drawing that shows the same grading grid with an island, a flat plane, and a building created using building blocks shown in the solid model view. Adding these extra features would not have been possible without access to building blocks. This is why we would like you to experiment with these tools. We would like to interact directly with you and learn about your workflows. We will continue posting advanced tutorials to offer new insight into the power and flexibility of this new approach to terrain shaping. We would request you to verify the workflows so that we can create many more commands that create complex shapes but hide the steps behind the scene. The intent is to build a rich, expressive and comprehensive set of tools to create real-world objects with simple workflows before placing the final deliverable in your hands. We sincerely appreciate your participation and look forward to your input. Thanks for watching.